All right, what's up everybody? So today we're gonna to be looking at how to paint something camo. If you're like me, you go hunting. Often to go hunting, you need camouflage items, whether that's a gun or a hat or really any gear you want to take hunting with you it needs to be camouflage. Um, and sometimes you don't wanna pay extra money to buy camouflage, but if you know how to paint it camouflage, you can save yourself a lot of money. So today we're gonna to look at how to do that. So what you're gonna need in order to paint something camouflage is you're going to need the item. So in this case, I'm just gonna use a board. Um, you're gonna need the paint you're gonna use. So normally I would use a combination of brown, olive drab, and kind of a tan white color. Um, but today we're just gonna be using olive drab and black. Um, it can really be any combination of colors you want. And then you're gonna need whatever kind of foliage is going to be in the area you're hunting in. Now, this is important. So if you're hunting for ducks, you're gonna use reeds, you're gonna use cattails, you're gonna use something like that because that's gonna give you the correct pattern. If you're gonna be in the woods in like an oak territory where there's a lot of oak trees and um, other trees with that leaf pattern, you're gonna use oak. Um, if you're in a pine forest, you're gonna use pine boughs. It makes a huge difference what kind of foliage you use because that's gonna be the pattern you need. Okay, so once you have your paint and the item you're gonna paint and the foliage you wanna use, you can get painting. So let's see how that's done. Okay, so in order to do this, you're going to get your item. So in this case, I'm just gonna paint the board. So like if you have a black rifle stock or a brown rifle stock, that's a pretty good color to incorporate into your camouflage anyway. So you're just gonna leave it. In this case, this is a good tan color. Normally I'd actually use a bottle of paint that actually is a very similar color. So I'm gonna leave this as part of my camouflage. Um, and I'm simply gonna use my other two colors, which is black and olive drab, actually make it camouflage. So in order to do that, you're gonna take your foliage, whatever that happens to be, and you're going to lay it over whatever you're going to paint. Now, you can't put it too thick or no paint's gonna get through and it's just gonna, what's gonna happen is the paint will get on the item then it'll, it'll drip down and it'll look terrible. But you also can't put it too thin or it's just gonna look like big blobs. So the, the key is to get it properly spaced so you get the leaves, so you get the leaf pattern without actually getting big, ugly shapes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull a little bit of the, the foliage off, a few of the leaves off, so it's a little bit thinner, um, because that way it'll give me a better leaf shape when I go to paint. So now I think I've got it at a pretty good thickness and I've laid it across kind of where I want it. So I'm gonna do my first layer of paint and see how it looks. Okay, so when I pull it up, I've got, the, the pattern's okay, but I would like it a little bit better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold these actually closer to the item I'm gonna paint. That'll get me more of a leaf pattern instead of, you know, more, instead of shapes. So now I'm gonna try it again. There, that's getting me a lot better, a lot better pattern. Okay, so now I've got kind of a, a pattern with the, with the black. So now I'm gonna come back with the green and I'm gonna go over that. So whatever you want to be your main color is what you're going to use most. So normally black or olive drab is gonna be my main color. Um, and then I just add a little bit of tan in because tan is necessary, but it's never what you want as your main color. So what I'm really just doing is I'm finding the spots that are open or that have too much of one color and I'm simply incorporating the other color into it by laying my foliage over that and then painting the foliage. So now it looks like I've got some good spots where the, the, the colors overlap, but I've got some spots that are too big. So I'm just gonna come back with my other color, or within, in most cases, you'd have a third color. And you're just gonna kinda splash a little bit more of whatever other color you want on there. And you simply keep overlapping these until you get the pattern you want. So on the next side, I'm gonna use a different batch of foliage um, because I don't really like how the first one turned out. So I'm just gonna try it again. And the beauty of this concept is that you can just keep painting it over again until you actually get the shape and the pattern that you like. So see, that gives me a pretty good leaf pattern. So I'm gonna keep doing that. So now I'm gonna put in some black. And the key is not to have big splotches of paint because it's the big splotches that really give it away and kind of destroy the camouflage pattern. Um, camouflage needs to be random and unpredictable, very much like nature. So I'm just gonna keep adding on little little bits of color here. All right, so that's what it's gonna look like. Um, that's kind of your finished product. Now it'd look a lot better if this were on a rifle or something else, but this is just kind of what it looks like on a board to give you an idea of how this camouflage goes down. Um, so there you go, that's how you use 
foliage to paint camouflage. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.